So why did I stop making coding tutorials years ago? So I'm seeing some big time coding tutorial guys and perhaps girls. They're now saying, yeah, we're not making coding tutorials anymore. I haven't watched them. I just saw the titles. Like maybe I should watch them. Um, I think somebody said it was because they're just not getting the juice anymore. Yeah, that's because uh, with AI, uh, tutorials on how to work with React or this framework or that framework become less and less important. That's the first thing. Also because um, people are starting to figure out that you're not going to get a job by learning a particular tutorial on how to do this, X, Y, or Z. What you need is mastery of the fundamentals. That's why years ago when I completed my curriculum on the fundamentals of the web stack, essentially, plus Python, uh, you don't need any more. Once you have a good firm understanding of the fundamentals, then all those frameworks and libraries become very easy to learn, especially with AI now. So, yeah, I don't know, I'm going to go watch why they did it. Maybe I should have watched that before I did this video. But I stopped years ago because I didn't see a need. Uh, my desire to build content for people is based on what I felt that uh, the public needed. I didn't, I didn't look at markets, perhaps I should have. Uh, I didn't look at where the demand was, perhaps I should have. No, I ignored, during the React boom, I didn't do React courses. During the, uh, you know, when Node came out and then everybody was doing NFTs, I was against NFTs. I was against token-based development because I talked about this many times. And um, so I didn't do it. So I see other people now, they're not, uh, they're not doing, they're not doing tutorials anymore. The tutorial makers, not needed. Once you have your fundamentals down, then uh, you should be spending all your time building projects, not doing tutorials. Tutorial hell is a real thing. And it's driven by people telling you that you got to learn this, that, and the other thing when you don't. You don't. Once you have your fundamentals down and you're looking at maybe 250 hours of work there, depending on how good you are. Some people get done, can get it done in 200 hours. Some people may take 350 hours. But once you have your foundations down where you can get your foot in the door, you can do basic stuff. 90% of your time, if not 95% of your time, should be on building things. Start with simple things, but building things. That's how you're going to learn the craft. Just like combat sports. I did combat sports for over two decades. One full contact sparring match or one street fight is worth months and months and months and months in the gym. In fact, there are things that will be derived from a street fight, things you will learn from a street fight, things you will learn from one uh, fight in the ring that you cannot get outside of those contexts. You can't do it. Same thing with software development. One project built from A to Z teaches you things, teaches you a depth of about software development, about taking a product to market that you cannot possibly get from a tutorial. It's impossible. Taking a product from concept to uh, delivery, and then you market it, and then you sell it, and then you keep it updated, and you maintain and build a maturing code base, you cannot learn a tutorial. You can get guidance from people like myself who have done this a few times, but ultimately, to really have a, a deep understanding of this world, like any other profession or any other vertical, you have to have done it, you have to have lived it, you have to have done it. So that's why in my curriculum that I've been teaching for many years now, I teach the key fundamentals. I've been talking about this for the longest time, well over a decade. I teach the key fundamentals, and then from there, get to work. Get into the ring, start building things. You're going to start off with simple things because you have simple knowledge. And then there's this category technology React, Vue, uh, full stack frameworks, uh, you can go on and on. All these type of things that people will tell you are essential. They are not essential. 
until you have a job to do with them. And if you're well trained in the fundamentals, then learning React is like this. Learning view is like this, so on and so forth. If you have trouble learning a framework or a library, it's because there's a hole in your knowledge. There's a hole in your knowledge. So the key to get to fill those holes is to uh, learn the fundamentals. It's all about the fundamentals. Anyway, that's why I stopped doing new tutorials on this or that language or frameworks because I did them. They're there. I have an interactive platform. It's still alive and well, being used by schools today, and uh, teaches everything you know to get up and running. So just in like, as I said, 200 hours, 250 hours, depending on the individual, you could be up and running, writing code, building things that are real. Will you know everything? No, nobody does. That's another realization that you have to understand. There is no developer in the world who knows more than 20% of a particular language, maybe 30% on the upper end, and that's when they're deep in it. For example, when I was big time into my freelance game, I was doing a lot of Java. That's strange to hear that, that Java freelance. You don't see that too much these days. But anyway, so I had my lightweight, dimbo Java framework that I built for myself from scratch. It was an MVC framework. And... Um, I was deep into Java, but I was doing Java web pretty much strictly. So my servlet knowledge, JSP knowledge, my JDPC knowledge, off the charts. But did I do Swing? No. Did I do AW, AWT? No, nobody did that. Uh, did I do Java threading? I think I did once in a decade. Uh, there's so much, so many things. A lot of Java IO I just touched on a little bit. There's so many things in Java that I'd never even looked at. Didn't need it. Did I know much of Java? Even though I was like a, a high-level Java developer, making good money with Java, developing very sophisticated apps with Java, I may use 10% of the language, if that much. That's why God, the universe, invented integrated development environments, Google, Stack Overflow, those are old school now. Now it's AI. If you have the fundamentals down well, you can work with AI at an exceedingly high level. You get into trouble working with AI, where you start getting all the AI slop and the slop code, is if you don't know what you're doing, and you say, AI, write me a bunch of classes in C Sharp or whatever it is. And it does all kinds of, you know, what AI does. AI can hallucinate a lot. AI can make all kinds of mistakes. So when it does do this, if you're not well-trained in the fundamentals, you're going to run into problems. But if you're well-trained in the fundamentals and you're trained in how to use AI properly in coding, you have to use it properly. It's a power tool, no less, but you have to use it properly. And if you do, you're going to be one of the super successful developers. Anyway, that's why I stopped making coding tutorials many years ago. Because there's no point. Again, if you're training the fundamentals, you don't need a coding tutorial.